Media. Quick tips. Being a one-man band filmmaker like me is all very well, but it does bring its problems. For example, not only are you working behind the camera, but frequently in front of it as well. Which means that pretty much all your footage is going to be shot using a tripod. Which means all your footage will be rock solid steady. But what if you were shooting a scene that would benefit from the more stealthy and voyeuristic feeling of a handheld camera? What do you do then? Well, what you do is you cheat and add some fake camera shake. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to do that with Sony Vegas Pro. So here's the footage I shot. And as you can see, it's rock steady. Not a tremble in sight. So let's open it up in Sony Vegas Pro and add some shakes. To do that, we're going to be using keyframes. So click on the event pan crop tool here. Make sure your cursor is synced to the timeline by clicking here. And make sure that this cursor is at the beginning of the clip, here. First, drag your frame in slightly, like this. Now this is just to give us some wiggle room. By using keyframes to move this frame slightly around the picture, we will give the effect of camera shake. And this is how we do that. Click on the first keyframe here. Now click ahead about seven frames or so. Now click on the frame. And using your computer's arrow keys, move the frame two pixels in any random direction you like. Up, down, across, up left, down right, whatever you want to do it. Now when you do this, the frame will obviously move slightly and a new keyframe will be created here, storing the new position. If you can't see the new keyframe, then clicking on it and rolling your mouse wheel will zoom you in and out like this. So now click on the new keyframe and repeat the process. Click seven frames forward, then click on the frame and move it two pixels in any random direction of your choice using the arrow keys. I've chosen two pixels because that will give you a subtle handheld feel. But if you want a more obvious effect, you could move the frame four or six pixels at a time. Just make sure that you don't move the frame completely out of the picture when you do this. And just continue doing this click seven frames forward, click on the frame, add a random movement until you have about 50 keyframes on your timeline. OK, now click on the first keyframe and while holding down the shift button on your keyboard, click the last keyframe and you will see that all the keyframes are now selected. Now right click with your mouse and choose copy. With your cursor on the last keyframe, click forward seven frames and at that point right click and paste. And you can do this as many times as you like to fill up the entire keyframe timeline. And that's it, the effect is done. So just add some sound, render to video, and this is what you get. And that's your lot. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share. This has been Amicia Quicktip and I've been William Hugh.